Okay, on the right in the Erlenmeyer flask, there's a super saturated solution of sodium acetate. It was prepared by dissolving 175 grams of sodium acetate trihydrate in 50 mils of water. And you have to heat the solution to get all of the uh, solid sodium acetate trihydrate to dissolve. Essentially, if you're going to try to make a super saturated solution of sodium acetate, what you want to do is get some water, put it on a hot plate, and uh, heat it up, and then slowly add, uh, or maybe not so slowly, add some sodium acetate. It takes quite a bit to get the uh, to get a, a super saturated solution. So just go ahead and dissolve a lot of sodium acetate uh, into into the water. As I said, I got 175 grams of the sodium acetate trihydrate into 50 mils of water. It's quite remarkable how much will dissolve. Well, anyway, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, what this looks like when the solution recrystallizes. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of the supersaturated solution. I'm going to put it on this glass right here. And boy, I bet that looks familiar to you, doesn't it? Looks a lot like those crystal effects markers. I'll try to put a little more down here. Sometimes I can get it down and it'll stay in solution. Yeah, I like that one. Now, bottom case, what I'm going to have to do probably is add a little seed crystal. See it right there on the side? That's a crystal of sodium acetate. I'm just going to go ahead and push that in so that they're touching, so that the seed crystal touches the supersaturated solution. And sure enough, you get the crystallization of the sodium acetate out of the supersaturated solution. Very reminiscent of the crystal effects markers. I didn't jump across there, of course, because those aren't touching. So I'm going to go ahead and connect them here. And there we go. It's beautiful. Sometimes it's fun. Let's see if I can do it. To go ahead and add some of the solution to a bit of crystal that's already formed. And you can get little towers of the solid built. If you put it on there one at a time, one drop at a time, that's kind of fun. I'm we'll just go ahead and pour this right on the top. See what that looks like. Oh, look. You can tell that it got into my beaker. <laughs> oh, there it goes. See that at the top? I'm going to try to pour it out this way here. Let's see if I can pull this off. There we go. And of course it got into the beaker as well. So let's just go ahead and watch this crystallize right through the beaker. Looks very much like those crystal effects markers that I was talking about before. Beautiful recrystallization process.